Hey everybody, <clears throat> hope you're having a great day. Enjoying the virtue of the day, the color gold and yellow and the virtue joy. I wanted to get on though and talk about um, something that I've been kind of working through these last couple days and it's about relating or relationships and uh, how things can get stuck with our partners. And so, um, yeah, so a lot of you have, hey, who have been watching these videos, have been following these videos, you've been noticing that I've been talking a lot about the nervous system and the way that the, uh, the nervous system works and how it has two main modes of operation. If you want more detail about this, please go into the video library, check out the, the um, video that says, called Surviving to Thriving, AKA the real story behind anxiety, depression, and anger. And but to recap, for those that are new, the nervous system has two options, surviving mode and thriving mode. And the difference between whether or not we're in surviving mode or thriving mode is whether or not our alarm switch is on. The alarm switch is the part of our brain that tells us that there's danger. And so when the alarm switch is on, we are, we are in surviving mode. And the alarm switch can go on and stay on for lots of different reasons. It can even kind of get stuck on or habituated to be on for lots of different reasons, whether it's chronic stress buildup, whether it's trauma, whether it's um, injury or illness. But in any event, when, when it's become very common for me, people to be living their day-to-day -day normal lives in this kind of alarm survival mode, where we're kind of rushing around a lot, we feel frantic, we feel rushed, we feel agitated, we feel anxious, and we, we vacillate between feeling kind of charged up and agitated, or anxious, or flat and depressed. And these are the three possible options for the surviving mode. Fight, flight, and freeze. Fight is anger, frustration, criticism, impatience. Flight is fear, anxiety, worry, doubt. Freeze is hopelessness, helplessness, lethargy, depression, etc. Okay? The other aspect of the nervous system that is that can be on is the thriving part of the nervous system. When the thriving part of the nervous system is on, it's natural for us to feel socially engaged, at ease, socially engaged when we're being dynamic, playing, competing, socially engaged and open to intimacy and stillness and vulnerability. So those are the three options for the thriving part of the nervous system basically feeling good at rest, feeling good when we're playing and moving around, perhaps in flow states, and feeling good when we're intimate and vulnerable, when we're still, okay? But here's the thing about relating and relationships, or arguments, okay? Arguments with anyone, really. Um, this post was, this video is inspired by uh, the topic of arguing with our significant others, our spouses, our loved ones, our boyfriends, our girlfriends, and here's the thing. If we are in surviving mode, if we are upset, first of all, we are in surviving mode. If we're upset, we're either some combination of angry, afraid, or shutting down. Fight, flight, or freeze. If I'm in surviving mode and my partner is in surviving mode, then we are both in a state of self-preservation. Survival mode is not interested, the surviving part of our brain is not interested in whether or not we are happy. It's not interested in our love relationships. It's not interested in us being anything other than surviving. So inherently built into this system is the fact that we are selfish. We become selfish. We looking out for number one. Self-preservation is the rule it is normal, it is natural, there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it is expected, if you're in surviving mode, if you're in a state of upset, to be selfish. And if we can accept this and recognize this, it can make a big shift in how we relate to our partners. And especially in times when we typically argue or think we need to process things or hash things out. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that in surviving mode, we are in a win-lose mentality. My win is my partner's loss, her win is my loss, or at least that's how we perceive it. That's how we feel it to be. 
because there's all sorts of projections that go on because when we're in surviving mode, the alarm switch is on in our brain and there is a negativity bias built into this system that filters for the negative. It actually highlights and accentuates and focuses upon what could be wrong in order to in order to, this part of the brain reasons, stay safe and prepare for threat. Now, human beings are interesting because we can turn on the alarm switch when there is not a real life threat. And we can do it because of memories, because of thoughts, because of impulses, because of things that are happening internally, but they're, they do not represent an external present threat to our life. Yet we respond to them in this survival way of fight, flight, and freeze. And when we do this, when we have this alarm switch on, the story making part of our brain is like, I don't, what is wrong? I'm feeling this impulse of danger. And it, if we, it kind of recognizes that there is no, there is no real and present danger. So it actually seeks for and even fabricates reasons as to why, to justify why the alarm system is on. And so this is where we get in all sorts of trouble in our, when we are attempting to kind of hash things out with our partners when we're in this state, because we take things the wrong way. We take things really personally. We're really defensive. It's really easy to be hurt, or it's really easy to lash out in, in a, in a, in a self-protective way and say nasty things. Because again, this part of our brain doesn't care about us being happy. It doesn't even care about our partners being happy. It is only in defensive survival mode. So what am I suggesting? I'm suggesting that if you want to have a more thriving, successful, happy, healthy, fulfilling relationship, that you don't even bother hashing it out, processing, discussing, until you have taken responsibility for your nervous system. Each partner has to say, I am fully responsible for the state of my nervous system. And I have to recognize the absolute futility, not only the futility, but the harmfulness, the harm that is caused by us having a discussion right now when we're in this win-lose mentality. Because even if I win the argument, quote unquote, and this is coming from someone who's pretty good at winning arguments. And when I really check in with my highest self, I'm not winning if my partner is losing, if she, if, she, if she concedes because I've kind of just stuck with it, with you know, intense logic or aggression, you know, microaggression or whatever it is, and she finally just, you know, I finally get my way, well guess what? It sounds a heck of a lot like being a kid, right? Yes, us big adults, us big brained adults act very much like children. And we argue to get our way often at the expense of our partners. And in the guise of a compromise sometimes, it really is a win-lose. It's a one-up, one-down situation. But that is what the only possibility in the surviving mode. The surviving mode does not, it thinks inside the box and it thinks about win-lose, lose-win. It feels like it's being attacked, it goes on the attack. It feels like it's winning, it keeps the winning up, okay? And so it's in self-preservation mode. So we have to take 100% responsibility for the state of our nervous system. As long as we're blaming our partner and saying, you caused me to feel this way and for me to think, feel, and act in the way I'm now acting, and it's you caused me to hurt you, or you caused me to say that mean thing, or you caused me to shut down, as long as we're doing that, we're saying, actually, what we're really effectively saying is you have the power to control me. And if you have the power to control me, then I don't have the power to manage my own self. But this is my nervous system. I'm in charge. And in order to be a happy, healthy adult, I have to be the one who's 100% in charge of my nervous system. No excuses, no blaming. And blaming is literally gives our power away. And you've probably heard these cliches, but it sets up a situation where we, our power is actually external to us. And actually, this makes us feel even more nervous and afraid because we, there's nothing we can do about that. 
But if we take the power back and say, I'm 100% responsible for my nervous system, and it's absolutely futile and even harmful to engage in a discussion or an argument right now, then we say, time out, retreat to our respective corners, and each individual uses the tools that they know, plenty of which are in the video library on this website, for how to move from the surviving part of the nervous system to the thriving part of the nervous system. Now the good part about this is when we do so, both people get into a genuine state of win-win, of desiring a win-win. And so you're gonna know that you're in the thriving mode and you can even encourage the thriving mode to come on board, to come online by asking yourself a prefrontal lobe question, which is an open-ended question that gets us thinking outside of the survival mode. We might not feel genuine at the beginning when we're still really charged up, but we start asking ourselves, well, what is the win-win here? How could we both walk away from this feeling better, feeling satisfied, feeling completely whole, and feeling really content with how things turned out? How can we get the win-win instead of the win-lose? And if you do the breathing exercises and things that I've been teaching you, or whatever other ones that you know how to do from your own experience, and you start asking yourself, what's the win-win, what's the win-win, you're gonna switch your nervous system into the thriving mode. And when you do, you're gonna light up all the parts of the brain that feel happy, safe, connected, um, and all the parts of the brain that can think creatively so that you can actually solve the problem. The, so, when you're in surviving mode, it shuts down the prefrontal cortex or parts of it that think creatively. We, we evolved biologically to shut this down. We evolved biologically to shut down the part of our brain that thinks clearly when we're in surviving mode because we didn't wanna have to take the time to think about it when the saber-toothed tiger was approaching our tent. We wanted to just fight, run away, or hide without having to think about it. So we actually evolved so that our higher thinking centers get, don't get the blood flow and the activity to them and they, are, and they go dormant. So even if, so if we're arguing in survival mode, it's actually impossible. One, we're innately selfish in those modes. Two, it's impossible to think outside of the box and find the creative solution that would make us both feel satisfied in the situation. So we have to switch into surviving mode and then those parts of the brain come online and you might not know what exactly the solution is, what the win-win is yet. That's okay, you don't need to know right away. You need to engage in the process. That is when you can talk. That is when you can process things. That is when you can dialogue. That is when both of you will have all of your creative resources together to find and discover a a win-win together, and that is when your relationship will octave to another level. You as individuals will octave to another level, but you as a partnership will octave to another level because now you're both in win-win mode. You're both in the mentality, I sincerely want what is best for the other without expense to myself. And if you're both in that mode together, what will come out of that will be creative, it will be connected, it will be warm, it will be empathetic, it will be loving, and it will be brilliant. All right, so that's it for tonight. Hope you enjoy that. Check out, I'm actually, I think this is such an important topic that I'm gonna write, a, write up a description of this as a blog, so be on the lookout for that so you can read it and share it around. If you know any of your friends that are you know, often get in arguments with their partners that this might make sense to them, that this might help them, please share it. This is a psychotherapy tool. I'm sharing a lot of psychotherapy tools on here because my aim is to work myself out of a job. And so this is another tool that you can use in your toolbox to, to, to work people like me out of a job. All right, have a great night. Love you all, bye.